So we're here at the Display Week 2023. Please introduce yourself. Steen Iverson from Real Fiction. We are presenting here today. It's my colleague Richard from our Taipei office. Directional pixels for 3D without any optics. So what we can achieve here is to you can observe different images from different directions. This can be used to create, create 3D images without having to wear glasses. And we eliminate the optics, which make it uh, potentially a much simpler mass production um, method. And also we eliminate some of the uh, restrictions that you normally have in optics, like uh, color aberrations and limited viewing angle and limited angular resolution. So we, uh, we do it all in electronics. We have here a micro LED in the back. If you lift the camera a little bit up, you can see there's a micro LED behind this. Yeah. This is just a very simple, small proof of concept with a monochrome, small micro LED display. In front of that, we have a special ferroelectric liquid crystal modulator, a light modulator. And they are multiplexed, time multiplexed together in a scheme that makes pixels look different from different directions. And here we have created 10 different directions and you see different letters from each of the 10 different directions. Is it for holograms? It is holographic experiences. It's basically it's an auto stereoscopic system intended for be, being connected to an eye tracking system. So you can have a full 3D uh, holographic experience. How does it compare with the, what people are talking with the light fields? Or is that what yeah, it's basically the same. It? It's basically the same yeah. experience. Yeah, you move around and you get different perspectives. Uh, in this prototype demonstration, you don't get perspectives; you get different letters. But in the next coming versions, we will have different perspectives of images. So when you move around, you see um, objects from different angles. Um, when I see the, the light fields, people talk about it's kind of like, for example, dividing the display resolution by the number of views? Yes, we Is don't that do happens? that. We don't do that here. We conserve the resolution of the display. We put a light modulator in front and then we time multiplex between, in this case, 10 different letters. So we are showing 10 different letters time multiplexed very fast. It's operating with a very fast. We have a response time of the liquid crystals that are below 50 microseconds. So these are special liquid crystals with very, very fast response times. How much is 50 microseconds? Is that 200 frames per second? No. 50 microseconds is uh, 20, 200,000. 2,000. 2,000. Yeah. So is it 200? This 2, is 20,000. Uh, Sorry, yeah. putting you on the spot with the mathematics. <laughs> but it's very high refresh rate. It's absolutely very high refresh rate. This is the, the highest in the world. It is. And, yeah. uh, and this way, we're not doing spatial multiplexing, but time multiplexing. And because we're not doing spatial multiplexing, we're not losing resolution. So this that's, is that's a big the challenge with, uh, uh, with... Can you make this for 8K? Can you make it for a big display? Yeah, our plan is to make an 85-inch uh, 4K display. Uh, we're working Where every on... every angle has a full 4K resolution. Yes, we're working on that. Nobody else yeah. does this, right? That's right? No? Only... Yeah. Only the real fiction. Yeah. It's like putting the fiction into real life. Is it that is. your idea? Yes, that's the, that's the idea. That's the idea. How old is the company? The company itself is maybe 10 plus years, a little 11. Uh, real Fiction Lab is a spin out of Real Fiction uh, and we are four years old now. We are dedicated to, ve to developing this technology. Is this the future how it's going to be? Yeah. It is. It's going to be... People are going to feel like they are there. Yes. You, this is that different applications. One is 3D holographic experience. The other one is uh, that you can uh, watch different movies on the same display. This is another application of directional pixels, really. Nice. Do you want to introduce your colleague? This is Richard Ouyang from uh, our his senior uh, development engineer at our Taipei office. Yeah. Hi, okay. I'm Richard. Can I just click here? Yeah. Do you right. want? Uh, yeah, no, no, just to have only one on okay. at the same time. So okay. please introduce, what, what are you working on? Uh, here that why I respond for all this uh, directional pixel technology here. So here that you can see, uh, come. We are using a time division here 
uh, compared to other companies that using lenticular lens with a uh, space division, here now we are no resolution loss here. So that each image here that we are showing uh, for 130 hertz, so actually we are sending out 10 different images here at the same time, and uh, so that means we can reach 1,300 hertz uh, at this moment, and uh, we will increase this. Uh, Maybe next step we will make a uh, 4HD or 4K or 8K resolution a display that that could be very nice for uh, multiple user at the same time. How far are you from this one? Uh, I think. How yeah. long? How much work you need to do to get it in a big? Uh... Yeah, tons of work because currently just uh, we chose the technology that using the uh, 10 division here, so that means yeah. We, we we can make that really different and no limitation for holographic display. Yeah. All right. Uh, just as a limit message uh, for the people watching the live stream, it's gonna come back. Uh, maybe the signal is not so good in the US. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and if I can, if you can grab the microphone. Yeah. So, so you you based in Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah. So, what is the role of the? Swedish office or the Swedish or you all in Taiwan or how would you say yeah we are in maybe. Copenhagen and Taiwan yeah. oh, Copenhagen okay let me put it right here okay like there hi please introduce yourself yes hello I'm uh, Torben Muggles I'm the CFO of Ref Fiction um, I'm based in Denmark and uh, Richard that was just speaking was uh, based in Taiwan at our lab facilities there uh, Stain is based in Denmark as well I work alongside with Stain on, on this project um, and, and I heard one question was, uh, when are you ready to, to present something like, like the, the display we have to the, to the next of, uh, to, left to the right of, uh, of our um, proof of concept? And basically, we, we are working on a model that will be presented later this year, a 17-inch uh, LCD model. It's a slightly different technology than what we're seeing here, because this is a proof of concept based on micro-LED and FLCs. But the, the up-and-coming 17-inch uh, display, which is you could say somehow similar to this, but it's a 3D display. Um, it's coming out uh, later this fall, and uh, we're looking very much forward to presenting that at a public demonstration uh, this fall. And they can switch at 50 microsecond too, in a bigger size? No, that one is based on a slightly different technology, so it's not going to be capable of the same um, number of viewers as the microLED version and FSC version is. However, it is going to be uh, impressive for uh, more than one user. So basically, uh, several users can, uh, can be able to see 3D, and you can also have dual view at the same time uh, for, one, for different persons. So, um, yeah. Um, what part of your technology goes into the holographic uh, kind of like feeling? Because well, they you want to have both eyes get something different? Is that what, what is happening? For all the angles, both eyes is getting two views, yes, two different correct. one. Yes. But the number of views that we can distribute using this technology that we're presenting today, the number of views there is much greater than the number of views we can do on the one that we come out with in, in the fall. However, the one we come out with in the fall does have multiple viewing for a couple of persons, but we are not able to, um, to create individual uh, views as we are with this one. Um, so. We, we can we can take the number of views on the on the LCD version up to um, at least two and, and also higher, um, but that's that's uh, that and that's going to be the first place. So it's it's going to be um, much much more you can say uh, than than what is out there today because most displays out there are one user 3Ds and the resolution is has a loss because of the the, the spatial uh, uh, situation there, so. Uh, does it use a lot of power to refresh so quickly? No. No? Actually, it, it can save yeah. power if that uh, just for only, sorry. Uh, sorry, just need to power you on again. Uh, let me hold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because that uh, if you are just uh, one user here that we could just send out only uh, two images to your left eye and right eye, so that could be save power for the future. So I think that there, because that uh, in current display you can see that uh, there is sending out all the rooms. So that that actually wastes some of the powers. But currently that based on the uh, directional technology that here we are using. So that means only the light going through your uh, uh, eyes that is needed. Um, 
it only works with micro LED? Uh, it could be micro LED, it could be OLED. Yeah, we have several technologies. Well, that can refresh so quickly also? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can decide. We can decide that for our new back plan. So that What's the best? What's the best? Uh, Is it micro LED? The uh, if the performance that I will say micro LED, if it's current, that I will suggest use OLED. Yeah. Maybe also has bright, high brightness? Uh, peak brightness. Bri peak brightness for this technology? Uh, peak br brightness. Uh, but the average brightness that could be just operation of uh, normal display here, that because you can see that here, we have sent out 10, 10 different images here, and we have scanning sequence here. And uh, so that, uh, yeah, that we need higher peak brightness, but that could be operational in current right. technology. All right. Uh, can, can you describe a little bit? Uh, so what happens in Sweden, what's happened in Denmark, and what's happened in Taiwan? Well, basically, we have a, uh, we're listed in the stock exchange in uh, Sweden, and first north in Stockholm. And um, then we have our operational headquarter in uh, Copenhagen, Denmark, and that's where we have the majority of our employees working. And then a couple of years ago, we uh, started the company Rare Fiction Lab, which is a subsidiary of uh, the Swedish uh, listed company. And that company has recently started a, a uh, uh, a branch office in Taiwan where Richard and James are working and, um, and we are working alongside uh, one of our large shareholders, uh, Amtran, who is uh, one of the investors in the, uh, in the parent company in Sweden. Um, so you can say we have our operational headquarter in Copenhagen and then we have our uh, development lab uh, in, uh, both in, in Denmark and also in Taiwan. So we work alongside with a large um, institutional, uh, governmental um, uh, facilities such as IMEC and, uh, and Fraunhofer. And we work alongside with other collaboration partners as well. So, uh, the front part and the back part is synchronized? Yes, correct. Is that how it works? It's yeah. synchronized at very high speed, yeah. How do you do that? Um, actually, that's just pretty simple. You just use, use some sync signals and clocks, and you can just synchronize all these uh, contents together. And you just need the algorithm correct, uh, calculate the image in correct, correct ways, so that you can have the image just in right position. So currently, we are divided all the images in ten zones. So, yeah, but it could be more. Yeah. All right. And previously, I asked already, uh, like, how far is uh, big one? Is there any way to speed this up if there's like of a big there investment is. or something? Of course there is. If, we, if there's a big investment in, in, uh, in uh, creating a display based on this technology, it will speed up the process. And um, as I said, we have a 17-inch ready, which is based on a LCD a technology, which is capable of doing uh, 3D for, for more persons. Um, so so uh, this form will be presenting something new. Cool. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you very much. Wow. Check out the WISE. WISE is such a smart system. I think I'm saving over a thousand euros every year because I use it everywhere when I pay for stuff. You know, you want to pay for stuff in the world. So you can check out my longer video for where I explain some more why I think this is amazing. And it's free. You can just sign up with my link down here and you can use it on your Android Pay, your Apple Pay. It's like a prepaid Visa debit card, right? So you need to put a little bit of money on it and you can just put money on it from your local bank account and there's zero fees. The fees are so tiny. It's like five to ten times cheaper than your bank. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union when you send money to a whole bunch of countries around the world. Just use Wise. It's way faster and it's five to ten times cheaper. So really check it out. It's cool and I appreciate if you use my link below. Thanks for watching.